hello. <laughs> if you're seeing this message, you may not be getting Heartstopper until next week. I am sorry. <laughs> um, so I had a crazy week. No time to finish watching um, and editing Heartstopper. There was just no way. Like too much, too much about my schedule changed and too much happened. So apologies. I was not, I was already behind on editing, so there was no way I was going to be able to keep up with Heartstopper, do all the stuff in real life I had to do, and also manage my mental health. So next week you will be getting Heartstopper. However, I didn't want to leave you guys with no videos. So for this week, you get this, which you'll see what this is um, in a bit. But um, I also wanted to mention that I probably will try to change my video schedule to two videos a week so that I can get back to streaming on Twitch, um, which is a thing that I enjoy doing and also a slightly more um, income friendly thing. <laughs> so yeah, um, if you're interested in watching live streams and stuff like that, that will hopefully be coming soon. And hopefully I'll have an editor soon, because I really need one. <laughs> um, but anyway, what is this video? Uh, I figured, since we're watching a series like Heartstopper, which is about uh, discovering your identity and all these coming of age things and all these personal things. I figured, you know, the people watching my Heartstopper reactions are probably interested in who I am and what I'm about for context. <laughs> so that's what this video is. It's a little get to know me video um, where you get to know me. Yeah. <laughs> So, anyway, hi, I'm Corey. Oh, hey, it's Kay. Um, I'm 29. I'm actually turning 30 in less than a month. Um, March 8th, I'm turning 30. Um, so there's that. Oh, boy. <laughs> Age really creeps up on you, doesn't it? <laughs> um, so, in the context of Heartstopper, my sexuality is demisexual. Um, so for those who don't know, what that means is that my, my sexual attraction is based on bonds, like friendship, essentially. Um, it doesn't have to be a close friendship. There are some misconceptions about demisexuality. Um, but basically just that connection. If I don't feel that connection, then I'm not going to be interested. Um, so common interests, friendship, um, camaraderie, that will typically lead to me being interested in that way. Um, Though the misconceptions that I've mentioned are the first one being, well, isn't everyone like that? No, no, that's not how everyone is because then one night stands wouldn't be a thing. It wouldn't be possible for anyone to have a one night stand if that were the case. <laughs> either I, if it's a one night stand, either I'm not close enough to you to be attracted or I'm too close to you to want to have a one night stand and not have continuous interaction um and the other misconception being that it has to be this long drawn out bonding process of like a friendship of like years in order to develop attraction which no it can happen in an instant like with anyone else um it's just less likely and again it's based on that bond so it wouldn't be just like someone that i saw walking down the street it would be someone that I had a, like had conversation with and like felt that spark and felt that connection with. So there's that, demisexual. Um, as for my gender identity, I am demigendered, uh, demi boy specifically. Um, so what that means is, and I'm probably going to put this on screen, do a little animation for you guys. Um, if you look at female or femme presenting as being the left side of the spectrum of gender and you look at male and mask presenting as the right side of the gender spectrum um i'm probably like right here like right 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 in between that like non-binary space right in the middle like right here like 75 percent towards the male end of the spectrum although <laughs> we'll get to my pronouns next which my pronouns, when I discovered the concept of being demigendered, 
were he, they. And after a while, I decided to switch it to they, he, because I preferred being called they, but didn't mind being called he. Though recently, in the last few weeks, I've been feeling very they, them, and not he, him at all. So right now, I'm probably a little closer to the to the non-binary spectrum. Like, I'm probably like the non-binary area of the spectrum. So I'm probably like 60% right there. Like right, right there. Yeah. So that's my pronouns and my gender identity. Demi boy, they them. Um, and as for my relationship structure, I am polyamorous. I am currently partnered with a few partners um, at the moment, and I love them all very much. He. <laughs> I, I believe in a. I'm, I'm very fluid with my emotions and my relationships. So whatever, whatever I feel works with the person is what I'll go with. So if I feel like we're friends, I'll be friends. If I feel like we could be romantic partners, I'll be romantic partners. If I feel like something else, I'll be something else. Just, you know, whatever works. I'm I'm very, uh, very open and uh, free-spirited person in that regard. Um, so that's all the personal stuff, really. Um, all the, like, personal mental stuff, really. Um, as for my interests, I'm a nerd. <laughs> Um, so, uh, D and D video games, cartoons, anime, manga, stuff like that. That's what I'm into in my free time. Um, I've been really focused on D and D lately. Um, I'm actually, um, I have a weekly, uh, D and D party that I meet up with, or we try for weekly. If you, if you play D and D, you know, it doesn't work out every week, but we try for weekly. Um, I'm also trying to homebrew my own campaign for them. Right now, that's going to be Pokemon themed, like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. So that that's gonna be fun. I'm putting a lot of effort into that right now. Um, video games. Uh, my flavor of video game is the sort of cutesy or relaxing or both. Doesn't have to be both, but it's either cute or it's relaxing. One of those has got to be happening for me to want to play it. I'm not into shooters. I'm not into horror games. But my favorite games are like Pokemon, Minecraft, Stardew Valley. You know the cute laid back relaxing stuff I, I like i like a little little warm and cozy time with my video games um similar for cartoons but not as strictly um my favorite cartoons are steven universe arcane legend of vox machina i i'm i'm a bit of a like super nerd when it comes to videography uh storytelling uh, animation and things like that so I love seeing the details of things like that I love seeing where a writer will go in the storytelling process I love seeing the um, the scene setup uh, decisions that are made I love every every single piece of soundtrack every piece of filmmaking cartoons uh, live action all that I love it it's, I'm, I'm very into like the deep analysis of not just the story, but the technique behind it. So super nerd in that regard. <laughs> um, cartoons that I'm interested in for the future, which would be relevant to you guys, because they'll probably get watched on here. Um, Owl House, Amphibia, Kipo, uh, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Um, I probably want to watch some anime on here eventually. Uh, I'll get around to it, I guess. <laughs> it can be hard to get the right season oh ruby i do love ruby too um well i love what ruby could be i love i love the idea of ruby <laughs> if anyone's watched ruby you know what i mean <laughs> um anime that i'm into well right now i'm not actively watching any anime i'm reading manga um right now i'm just reading one piece and my hero academia which one piece as you can tell is my favorite <laughs> um for music, I am into pop punk, post hardcore, metalcore, um, bedroom pop, J rock, folk. I like I like somewhere between fun little acoustic comfy vibe and screaming and raging vibe. Those two and anything that mixes the two, <laughs> like Chloe Chloe Mariano. You guys heard that I was into that. And by the way, bedroom pop, bedroom pop is heartstopper soundtrack genre that's what bedroom pop is <laughs> that every song on there is basically bedroom pop that's what that sound that's what that genre sounds like so Chloe Moyando, cave town artists like that that's what bedroom pop is but yeah pop punk like pierce the veil well 
Pierce the Veil is post hardcore. Um, pop punk like Fall Out Boy, uh, a day, n not a day to remember, all time low would be pop punk, a day to remember would be post hardcore. <laughs> um, but yeah, stuff like that, very into. Um, metalcore would be like Bring Me the Horizon, stuff like that. I like edgy stuff. <laughs> um, as for what I do in my free time that's not consuming media, I am an artist. I like singing and songwriting. Uh, some of you that have seen my other videos besides Heartstopper have heard me singing when I get really into a song and stuff. Um, if you follow my TikTok, you can see me singing a lot. <laughs> um, and a lot of a lot of my TikToks are original lyrics written by me. So there's that. <laughs> so shameless plug on my own channel. It's not. It's not a plug if it's your own stuff, <laughs> but my TikTok is where you can hear me singing and stuff like that. Um, I also do graphic design, so all of the stuff currently on my channel, besides the animated version of me on my live streams, um, the animated version of me on my live streams is made by my friend Angie's uh, Shenanigans, uh, who does take commissions, uh, and I might plug her in the description. Um, but uh, everything else on my channel currently is designed by me. Um, so yeah, uh, but yeah, um, that's it for my free time stuff. Um, and the last thing that I have written down is why I create content, why I do any of this at all. Um, well, I, so I, I struggle with a lot of disabilities, um, both mental and physical. And if you guys want me to get into detail on that, I don't mind. I'm not private about it, but I'll probably put it in a separate video um, or something. Um, but things like depression, anxiety, those are things that I've struggled with basically all my life. Um, and when I was in those like dark places, m media, like movies, TV, music, um, YouTubers, live streams, those are the things that kind of helped me out of it or at least help me survive it. Um, they, they were able to like, kind of put a little light in my life and put a little levity in there and give me, give me a space that I felt like I didn't have to worry about what was going on in real life. I could just kind of escape and lose myself in whatever fun thing I was watching. So the reason that I create content is that I want to create that space for people. I want to create this safe space and this community where people can escape whatever hard things in real life are happening and have even just a moment of peace to make it through this crazy mixed up world that we live in um, and just have a little bit of light in their life. And if I can bring a little bit of light to everyone's life, then hey, cool. If I, if I made one of you smile, then I'm happy. I've done what I set out to do. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like, I like helping people. I like making people smile. I like listening to people, making people feel safe, seen, heard. That's what I'm into. That's like my whole vibe. So that's why I do this. Um, and that's why my whole little catchphrase at the end of the, the end of the episodes is keep chilling, keep vibing, keep living and keep thriving. Cause that's all I want for people. I just want people to be happy and healthy and live their lives however they see fit um but yeah <laughs> um so yeah that was that's the video that's that's all i wanted to do is let you guys get to know me um tell you about myself so that you know who you're watching <laughs> um but yeah uh if i missed anything or if there's anything else you're wondering or you want to know about me feel free to ask in the comments i'm pretty much an open book just don't make it like super inappropriate. <laughs> um, but yeah, feel free. Um, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the comments. Uh, thank you guys so much for all the support. I know I say this in every video, but I mean it in every video. It, it means a ton to me that you guys stumbled across my goofy little self on the internet and decided to spend your time watching me be weird. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, I appreciate you. I love your faces. I hope you're having a lovely day. Um, stay safe, be hydrated, do all the good stuff, take care of yourself, be gentle and patient with yourself today, whatever you're dealing with. And I will see you guys in the next video.
Until that next video, keep chilling, keep vibing, keep living, and most certainly keep thriving. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.